she was trying to butter them up to keep that money coming in, baby. Look, congratulations, you played yourself. That's the title of this video. You played your whole entire self. Like, first of all, they wasn't even about to lock you out. They just needed their password. So then you get insecure because you know you ain't been doing your job. So now you like, oh shit, they about to lock me out of it. Oh, so y'all being shady? So this is where Ari like, were y'all being shady? Or were y'all moving funny? Like, Ari, your mama playing you too, baby girl. Yeah, they hating is an understatement. Every time a motherfucker talk, I hear them hating. This shit not about where you from or what set you claiming. It's about getting money to keep them earners raising. If this song pop, they go. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today I'm back with another reaction video. For more videos like this, please get this video a thumbs up. If y'all want to see more videos like this, put it down in the comment section below. And let's get to this video, man. So first of all, I want to explain to y'all why I need y'all to go subscribe to Royal Reacts. The grind has been on a whole nother level. Literally. Like, people want so many reactions and I'm with the shits. You know what I'm saying? But I cannot put everything on one channel. So I need y'all to go subscribe right now to Royal Reacts. I'm going to put the part two of this video on Royal Reacts because this video is 28 minutes long. I know it's, this is going to be a long video. So, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Royal Reacts right now. Especially so you can tune in to part two. Now, let's get to the video. So, y'all already know that um Ari said her, said her side of the story you know what I'm saying she said her piece or whatever and you know I want y'all to know I'm not with the taking sides thing I just try and dissect what's going on you know what I'm saying and that's it now, I'm not really with uh, being on this person's side or being on that person's side I like to dissect it y'all let me know how y'all feel I let y'all know how I feel we keep it moving okay so that's what we're gonna do with this video today Nick and King is finally telling their truth about what happened with Janae from their side yeah man let's get it what's up boys and mob it's your boy King and it's your girl Nick and today, today we're, we're back, back with another back video. video you already know what's going on man I know y'all haven't been seeing us posting you know what I'm saying anything man you know on the family channel or on this channel you know what I'm saying cause it's the holiday and going on you know and we just been super busy and we have been away from each other we just didn't want to make no moves or post anything while yeah. we wasn't away from each other. Yeah, that's that's really what it is, you know what I'm saying? You know, we had to you know we had to have to get a break because you know I'd be grinding, doing what we do. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. But all that is over now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just saying no, no, no. all that's over. Right. Right. over. All of that's over now, you know what I'm saying? Nikki King, we're back. We're back. The Johnson family, we're back. We're back. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Go. before we had before we start, you know, you know, going back hard, you know, running these videos up for you guys. We just wanted to explain some stuff because at first we wasn't going to do a video on it, which that's the reason it took us so long because we was debating and, you know, because usually Nikki King don't take miss nowhere. Yeah. So, but, we, you know, we talked amongst each other and we decided, you know, our supporters deserve, it's like our supporters just kept asking us questions about, you know, when y'all going to tell y'all side? Niggas want to hear y'all side of the story because y'all put the shit out on Twitter and just left us hanging, you know what I'm saying? So... We got to know y'all side of the story because y'all the ones who air shit out anyway. <laughs> so we got to know what's going on. We deserve to know. And we feel like y'all do deserve to know because y'all defended us. But y'all don't know. For all the people that's defending us and saying, well, Nikki King is not these type of people and stuff like that. We feel like y'all deserve to know the story or our story. So that's for, for the people, you know, asking like, oh, why didn't we drop a video? That's pretty much it. Like, we got to give the people... We feel like they just, yeah, we feel like they deserve to know. Like y'all know everything else, so why not know this? Okay. So by that being said, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna we got to get First of all, y'all know I have to give a compliment and a comment of a compliment, if that makes any sense. I love this dynamic this uh dynamic right here. A bitch can't talk. I love this dynamic right here. Uh I love young people winning, y'all. I do. And they winning and young black people, I I love my black people. Okay. 
They just had a little cute baby. You know what I'm saying? And they've known each other for so long. They hold each other down. I love it. I love this dynamic right here. It's already on what we wanted to touch bases on. Touch bases, you know, touch all the stuff. Because there's so many questions. So many stuff. So, first thing first, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about the situation. The beginning. The beginning, the beginning, the beginning from high all in all the way into. You know, I honestly think you should stay. Say like how it all all started, like how how we even came to her. This is what I felt like. Like how we even came. met her. Okay, okay, okay. So first things first things first, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna start off like that by how we got connected with our old manager. Mm -hmm. First thing first, I was with another network, me and Nick, we were another network and stuff like that, and had another manager, you know what I'm saying, that volunteered us, you know what I'm saying. He recommended us to her when we was coming to Houston, because you know, some of y'all might you know, some of y'all might remember when like all of us was in Miami. All was in Miami, then the next trip we had to yeah, we, came to Houston. We met everybody, um, it was first we met By the way, I didn't watch none of that, I don't remember any of that, so inform me down in the comments please and christian trey and then we came back to Atlanta, and we met uh Corey and carmen so we all had started taking trips together we all started running videos together we yeah. was we all was getting views together yeah. we was going to miami and people was reposting us saying squad goals and um you know oh they lit or oh, they having fun or oh, they doing this or oh, they doing all that just from our support mm -hmm. so we had a we had a, a following as a group yeah before we came to our old manager mm -hmm. so she when we met her um you know we when we was in houston one day yeah we decided to get like an airbnb house in houston and run videos just have fun right. because you know we had already had a personal relationship with these people who was like y'all live y'all cool people we want to continue to rock with y'all she just said they already had a personal relationship with these people, which means they knew these people before Janae hooked them up with these other people. Because everybody keeps saying like uh, Corey and Carmen came on it at the end or something. Uh, I guess that's where the game came from. So uh, I'm trying. Let's travel together. Let's run videos together. Like, let's build each other up type stuff. Right. Everybody had that, you know, their mindset and mind goal. Like I said, when I was with a network old man and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, hit me up and was like, hey, I got this other person, you know what I'm saying, Houston, that can, you know, work with y'all as well. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go over there, talk, and I'll be exchanging numbers. You know what I'm saying? I told my old manager at the time to give my old manager the number, you know what I'm saying? And he hit, hit me up when we was talking and it was like, you know, come over there. And stuff like that so i was moving like i can't leave you know the people that I was with was you know the group that I was already well i can't leave them so i'm gonna come tomorrow so we was coming and came like yeah we told everybody to, oh well y'all we feel like this woman's gonna help y'all we feel like they, she gonna help us build our channel type of stuff y'all should come okay like, and she was at first she was just asking for you know who she was asking for like who she asked for i know it was me and you yeah it was me and you and then it was supposed to be um, Corey and Carmen. Corey and Carmen. It was Carmen. Carmen and Corey and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. like, I, I low key told him about. I low key told him about Christian Drake. But to this day, as I always said, that I never told him. But at the end of the day, I mean, oh my god. We so they knew Chris and Trey, and they were supposed to bring um, Corey and Carmen along too. Okay. Um, you know so we saying? came deep to the house, real deep. Yeah, we came real deep and stuff like that. And they had time when stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like good stuff. Good stuff. Then. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so they brought Chris and Trey and Carmen and Core. That's the group, right? Okay. And told to us, you know what I'm saying? You know, Which all of it did play out. Yeah, all of it did play out. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. All the stuff came, you know what I'm saying? Came good and played out and it did its part. You know what I'm saying? We know what played out, baby, because look at his necklace, okay? His necklace. Look at their crib in the back. One thing I admire about YouTube and the growth and why I keep going. First of all, shout out to y'all. But why I keep going is because I you can see the growth. That is the most. That's the most thing that has to be respected on YouTube. You can see the growth. You're going to see when I used to be in my raggedy ass apartment. Now I'm in this one. And when we move up. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to see all that. I think that's the dopest thing about YouTube, for real. You know, so first, when we first got there, you know, she was talking to us, running to us, and she was like, oh, I like all y'all energy. Y'all seem like y'all got this. Y'all seem like y'all got that. So, um, she was like, oh, well, 
If y'all want to work with me, can y'all do this video? I got I got um, a nice little YouTuber that I would like to, intro, to introduce y'all to. And who is that? Yeah, which, which he had already did a video. Um, he had already collabed with the person already. And he was like, oh yeah, I know her. Da, 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 all this stuff there. And so she was like, oh yeah, we could just run some videos today and it'll be fun. Like, it'll be an introduction to all y'all. Like that. Y'all can do it at my house and stuff like that. And it was really fun. Like, it was really great. At okay, she offered her house. Nobody asked for her house. Because I'm I'm really breaking down Aries video. Because some of the things Aries said was questionable for me. And I want to see if they going to counteract with, with what she said. I'm going to tell the dog I said hi. Damn, I don't even remember where I was at. Whew. I'm going to rewind it back a little bit. run some videos today and it'll be fun like it'll be an introduction to all y'all and stuff like that y'all can do it at my house and stuff like that and right. it was really fun like she it was really house. great at the first beginning like I felt like you know she she was kind yeah when, when we first met her she was kind she we looked at her like oh this lady she she really like got a good heart like, she, she was great in the beginning because she needed that bag but obviously she had ulterior mo motives you know what I'm saying anyway and the first day the first day we met her the day after that we had got um our airbnb was over and stuff yeah, like that yeah, I'll put out <laughs> we got we put out our airbnb so she let us stay at her house and she yeah. was like oh yeah i think y'all should like act fast like y'all got it already y'all don't y'all really don't need nobody y'all got it already all i want to do is tell y'all a little bit of advice to like push it and keep going y'all need to get a house she was like, well, y'all need to get the house together. When y'all get that house, y'all gonna, like, you know, y'all gonna have more time to just just leave everything at home and leave everything at y'all home times, I mean, home times, and, you know, get y'all house together and start grinding. Right. So, so at that time, you know what I'm saying? Now, so, Eric was like, my mom was the one who told y'all to leave y'all houses and, you know what I'm saying, come do this. My mom was the one who did this and did that. And she did that. So she could get the money. I would have done it too. Girl, stay with me. Live with God. I will feed all of y'all. Because I know when this shit pop off, I'm going to at least be getting ten to $20,000 a month from y'all. A piece. By the way. Okay. At that time, you know what I'm saying? We looking at it like, oh man, like, you're, doing, you're going out your way to help, you know, really help us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to leave from our homes, you know what I'm saying? Still living with our mom and dad, still living with our parents and stuff like, like that. She found us a house. Found yeah, the house. A house. And she was she was letting us contact the landlord. She was saying, oh, this is how much you just got to put up. You only got to put up this amount. And y'all can get it rolling. Y'all can get it rocking. So um, she helped us unlink with our old manager. Yeah. She helped us unlink with our old manager because we felt like our old, old, old manager wasn't doing nothing for us. So she helped us unlink with them. So once we got away from them, it was just like on from there. So um, it was a time where like one of our first payments from her, she was like, you know, she told us how to unlink. Yeah. And she said, if you unlink and they take money from you, uh, this was the first the first thing we should have thought. But I felt like we was too into it. Yeah. We seen like... Oh, this gonna work. Like we excited. Like we finally got like a, a real manager's hands on. She in Houston with us. This gonna be lit type yeah. stuff. So this should have been our first like sign, but I feel like we ain't see it. But you know, it, and that's dumb on our part. But I feel like you know, first thing she was like, if you if um they take because we was just signed with a studio. So if that's um so if that, studio. If those, so I'm assuming Studio Seventy One. People take money from you. I'm not gonna collect the payment because I feel like um uh, you know. I shouldn't do that. Like that, I'm, I'm not even that type of person. That's yeah. what she told us. They take money. So, they um, she we won't ended up making money. a, a okay. really a okay. really good bit of check. Okay. So when we unlinked, they took that check before. They took the check. Yeah. yeah, but they took the check before that. Yeah. So they took the check before that, and then uh, our first uh, our first we was never making money like this. So that's probably one of the reasons why we didn't you know really, really, really worry about it. So our first check. She, so they took the last check when we first unlinked, and then the next month came around, and uh, it was another time where they, you know, could get that money. So it was, so what happened? They ended up. I'm so glad I'm watching this video, y'all, because I'm with a network too. And uh, granted, they're not taking the hugest percentage from me, but it's enough. And networks aren't hands on. You know what I'm saying? Networks are for people that's already big. 
you have to already be big and i'm talking dk4l big like dk4l damo and chrissy they're with studio 71 so i decided to join with studio 71 and um in 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 hopes of becoming bigger at the time and that's not what happened uh but in other words i'm putting in all the work they're not doing anything so you know but now i know if i were to unlink with them they're gonna take the whole check and the next half check For two months. Was, you want to tell how much? No. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Y'all ain't got to tell us. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. This is why it's going to be a part one and part two to this, y'all. Because I I, I, I does my research, baby. I, I I got to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, boom. We're going to go uh, social blade. Okay. Now, granted, we won't find out how much of a check that they made at that time. I want to know what they're making right now. Social Blade is not always accurate. It just gives you a, a, a what's it called? A variance. Um, Neek and King. All right. Let's see. Okay. Ain't no way. See, this number right here means that's now. But around that time, I know they wasn't just making that. That's just now. I know that's wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> she was alive. But um, when that happened overnight, uh, she was... Which, that's still a lot of money. I for, Okay. So I wasn't downplaying how much money that is. That's a lot of money. I'm just saying I was expecting them to make more. Some YouTubers out here making a hundred thousand dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? They getting them crazy views. They getting a hundred thousand dollars a month. So that's why I say that. Supposed to be getting a certain amount of money from our uh, our money. Yeah. So she she told us, you know, she took like like I said, she told us that she wasn't gonna make us pay. But when we did get paid, she ended up getting the the percentage that she, we usually would pay her. She ended up getting. She told us that oh. Um, I'm sorry, y'all, but I helped y'all get this, so I'm gonna have to get my percentage. That don't have nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. Remember she said that? And so she was like, um, she was like, uh, but I'm gonna have to get this much percent of what y'all originally got. Not twenty percent. So, um, she ended 20%. up getting twenty percent of our original, like before what we thought we was gonna make. She asked for twenty percent of what we thought we was gonna make, and we ended up getting half of that. So mm. she wanted twenty percent of what we were supposed to make. And not half of that, if you get what I'm saying. So what? So she wanted the 20% from the cap of what they had made. So if it was $100,000, she was supposed to get uh, $10,000. No, she was supposed to get $20,000, I'm sorry. Um, so say, for instance, they got $80,000. She wanted them to give her $20,000 still. Uh-uh. I, I would have cut off then, y'all. I would have cut her ass off right then and there. Ended up giving her way more money than we were supposed to. Because if you calculate 20%, I wish I would, we could tell you how much we got. I got. wish you would. I mean, we got that big check. But if you calculate that, it's like we ended up getting a little bit of no money. Really bit of no so money. So that was the first time. So that was the first time. So, so you know, time started going by. Time started going by. We Mind you, she ain't put in on nothing that they was doing before uh, they got to her house. They ain't, she ain't bring none of them people on or nothing. Okay. Good. Everybody was eating type stuff like that. You know, the work ethic was done. Like, then they had like situations and stuff like that about, you know, like everybody started going to each other's houses and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is not the contract that you guys seen, but yes. this is how we this is how we signed to a contract, yeah. another contract, not the one that y'all are hearing about, but a contract that yeah, it's our family is real. Different. It's two different contracts. The first contract is what we came into at first, mm -hmm. and then it was another contract trying to give proceeded to us after asking for our contract. So okay. now so we feel like we finna get into that situation. Okay. So listen, so so I just want y'all to know that the video Eric did. She was definitely trying to protect her mom. Once again, I would not throw my mama under the bus. I don't give a damn what none of y'all talking about. Okay? However, the truth is the truth. So she shouldn't have said nothing at all. Because now she's making herself look like a fool. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this story is sounds more legit already than what she was talking about. Not too long ago, I think it was probably like... Probably like I don't know. It was. It was. We got. We got messages. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna look at the date, so we gonna be on, on point with it. We got the messages and, and stuff. So it was okay. It was November fifth, nine o'clock in the morning. It was November fifth. I have. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I have November fifth. I said, hey. I said, hey. To my man, I said, hey. When you get a chance, can I have another copy of our contract? The person said, check email. And then it was like, oh, second thought. I, I will print one out for you. I will buy a printer today, and when when we get a chance to go over them again, let's work hard for the last ninety days. And then you know some other YouTubers come over to our house one of these days and stuff like that. So the thing was, she was talking about this ninety days thing. So she was saying that basically, uh, oh, you guys, I feel like I helped y'all enough. I feel like you know, in the next ninety days when the new year start, I don't want to be y'all manager no more. Uh, you know. And we was like, okay, that sounds good. Okay, but she, it was like, it felt like she was on and off with it. It felt like one day she would say, oh, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go in January. And the next day she'll be like, I feel like we can keep going. I feel like I can. Nah, uh, she was getting a guilty conscience. She was getting a guilty conscience and 10K was on her ass. <laughs> 10K was on her ass. Do you hear me? I'm talking about own it. She knew she was about to get exposed. That's what that was. You know, we can start juicing this some more. I feel like this just began for y'all. So we just never knew whether she was going to let us go, whether she was just telling us she was going to let us go, or she was just, you know, talking. Right. So, well, after he said that, after he asked, you know, where's our contract, he had been asking for it. So she was trying to send us a copy of the contract that we didn't sign. So we like, we don't want a copy of the contract we didn't sign because we don't remember what's exactly on the contract and... We don't want you to change nothing and then try to send us a new contract. So we said, okay, she was like, oh, well, I just moved and my stuff is everywhere in the garage and I'll find the contract when I can. So we was like, well, just let us know when you find it. So we left that alone. So we said, thank you. The same, it's probably like the same, I think it's like the same day later on that day. We said, thank you. And she said, no problem. She signed the contract. I mean, the contract of the home. Um, well, what we had, it wasn't all of that. We did not sign. Mm -hmm. She signed with a contract that didn't have no signature on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Later on that day, you know what I'm saying? I said, thank you. She had no problem. Bro. So after that... This fool done switched up the whole contract. You know, so after that, so now we're sitting at, we're sitting where we're at, sitting at home, and we're just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And Neek asked me what was the password to all. Um, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. So, oh, yeah, let me see that. Uh, so, um, I, yeah, I'm gonna see that. All right. So, uh, when we were sitting at home, we were chilling. My mama had just came and visited and all that type of stuff. So, I asked her, uh, I was trying to get it to our YouTube channel because I didn't know, I don't know the password, but we trusted her with our password. So, I didn't know the password and I had forgot it. So, that's just my fault. I mean, you know, I really don't have to log in because everything's saved on my computer. So, I'm like, dang, what's our password? I know it's like one of these. You know, passwords we have. Because we have so many passwords for different things. Child, y'all, if y'all watch this video, y'all need to put a second verification on your account. Because that should have came to your phone. I don't understand. I don't understand that. It should have got down. Oh, shit. I don't remember a second verification to your They couldn't. Because it was going to her phone. Yeah. So I'm like, I know it's one of the passwords that I remember. That's so I'm like, crazy. instead of just trying to get myself locked out, I'm going to ask her what's the password. So on November 5th, I mean, after, on November 15th, after we had already been asking for the contract for 10 days, yes. still never received no contract. Um, I think on the day, the the maybe the 10th or the 11th, we received the contract that we didn't sign. The one that was just, you know, typed up. So, so on uh, November 15th, I said, uh, what is our Gmail password? 
to our Gmail, yeah. YouTube, second. That, that, that's at 11, that's at 11.07. So, 11.07, I asked, what's our Gmail password? And then, so, she didn't text back. So, I said, did 25 you? minutes later. She didn't text back. So, I text her again. I said, did you get the pin to your number? Because I was trying to change the password. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, she don't know the password. Then, change I didn't it. change it because we need to, you know, reboot it. Mm -hmm. So, um, all she texted back was, she didn't ask me, uh, 20, 25 minutes later, she didn't ask me nothing about, she didn't tell me my password. She didn't tell me my password because I still couldn't get into it. So, she didn't tell me my password. All she said is, I said, did you get a pin to your number? Because when, that, when I tried to change it, it was saying that her phone no. was the one that was yeah. on our account. So, it was the one that was getting the, um, recovery stuff. Wait. So, they knew that, though. Because Eric did say they they spoke about that in the beginning. But not only that, um, who else said it? Somebody else said it who's a part of the group that uh, she, ha that's how she has tabs on their account. I, I think Eric, oh, hell, it might have just been Eric. Okay. So, in order to change it, I need the pin off her phone. That's so, what they say. So, by that, so that she takes back, she waited to take back 20 25 minutes, minutes later and that. said, no, I haven't. So okay. she, didn't, and she didn't tell me my password. She just said, no, I didn't get no, um, she said, no, I didn't get no, uh, yeah, Kai's are waking up. But she then, said, then after that, then after that, then once she takes that, she put us in a group message. She takes me and she takes me and you in a group message and said, hold on, I'm ready. Okay, what y'all, so, no, she FaceTimed both of us. She FaceTimed both of us. She both FaceTimed both of us and we ain't answered. Because I'm like, like, what, she, what type of stuff Yeah, I didn't want to talk. Right. And then, no, so, so. She Which said, they should have okay, answered so the phone. what y'all got going on, seriously? Are we moving strategically or in silence? If so, I understand. I just prefer to honestly, I mean, I just prefer honesty. Like, we always been with each other. Wait. Okay, so we haven't, so mind you, this late at night now, you don't know what we're doing, you don't have, you don't know what we're doing, you don't know if we're asleep or mm. anything at this moment, you don't know what's going you're on. You're not our manager, we don't have to ask the phone for you, you're not our mom, you don't you're know. not, not, even, not, even you're not my husband. husband, you're not my wife. It's not even just that, you don't even know what's going on, and this is and where. And you text back 30 minutes later, so you don't know if he's asleep or not. Right, you text, that's right, my point is that you text back 25, 30 minutes later, after, after, you know what I'm saying, so now, this is, this is where it gets under like my skin and her skin because this is what we got mad for this is what we got kind of mad for okay after she sent that paragraph she texts after the, she texts back and uh -huh. said no, no worries. worries what a winky, winky face in, what a winky face what a emoji. winky emoji so she so after we didn't reply to her or answer her facetime call she said no worries Kid you not, we didn't know that this lady had that much control over our account at the time. So listen. How? We trusting this lady that oh, How did they know that? So listen now, at this moment when she says no worries with a winky face, now we are in battle mode for our own, own account. account. We're she battling. changes stuff in our account. So we finally got into our account because I remember the password. Thank you, so God. The old password because I couldn't change my password because all the recovery stuff was on her phone. So she changes stuff at the same time we trying to change stuff. Um, we got a thing, we got a, a notification to our phone saying your recovery email has been changed. Oh, uh, your yeah. number. You got the, you still got the, the messages and stuff like I that? I think so. So uh, the number, um, you know, all I Child, let me, ooh, let me tell y'all something. It, it, it'll get your blood pressure high. It'll get your blood pressure high because, baby, my channel is, is my life at this point. You fucking with my money? Now, you done already sent a, a, a little bogus little text message and then you texted 30 minutes later and it was what? Almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Ain't no telling what we was doing. We grown. You know what I'm saying? We're a child. You don't know what we doing. We not kids, nigga. So, then you get mad. No worry. Because you think you got the upper hand. Okay. verification was on her um her phone it was on our two-step verification her email was on our recovery email so it's basically like you trying to lock us up. we got locked uh, we got logged out of our own account mm -mm. so if, if our, you're a YouTuber, our own youtube channel that me and her sat down and made on our own ago. before we met you before we met you mm -mm. you we, you trying to lock us out of our account so of course we're gonna be furious of course we're gonna be mad now, my mind was going in my mind. I'm like, okay, I'm battling for my own channel. So that means you have the right of changing anything that got dealing with banking. Mm -hmm. Banking, you can change that. Mm -hmm. You can go into our YouTube account.
account and I'm not got direct she deposit. Do. I'm not saying that she would do that stuff, but I'm saying when you start changing stuff in our YouTube channel and messing with how we eat and our money and how we feed our child, that. that that's that's when we become some pissed off parents. Yes. That's when we become. You want to talk about like you know pissed off this and pissed off that. That's when we become pissed off parents right. because you know that you we put lights over our our baby head yeah. and a roof over our baby head yeah. with that money that we make off YouTube. Yeah. So you don't come and try to go change nothing on our channel. Nah, channel. nah, you got kids, baby girl. You got kids. Y'all could have. They didn't answer the phone one time. Now, first of all, they should have answered the phone. If this is about business, they should have answered the phone. But they don't have to answer the phone if they don't want to. However, they compromised themselves in that moment because of the little bit of control that she had. Then, then now, since we're sitting, now listen, we're still sitting here battling for our channel and stuff like that. All of a sudden, it took us like 30 minutes to get, to get everything. Then Nick, once Nick, you know what I'm saying, Nick started like, when you had did something and then it kicked like it kicked us all out, but you hurry up and got back into yeah, the account. Yeah, I had I changed the password, so once I got, I finally got into the account and I got everything because I had to switch her. I had to switch the recovery email to our email. I had to switch our phone numbers to our phone numbers. I had to do all the two step verification stuff. Okay. I had to do, I feel like I was fighting. I'm like my heart real beating real fast. I'm like, babe, sit up. She I cannot imagine. Her account. What she got going on? So after all that, what she did, she's still trying to get into our account. She's still trying to get into our account. So we now, got screenshots of her trying to get in our account. She stopped texting us. She ain't text us after that. Right. She ain't text us about an hour. Notifications come to my phone left and right saying somebody trying to get into your account. Somebody trying to recover your account. Yeah, somebody so trying we to get into your account. No, no, that's not us. It's not us. It's not us. Mind you, she messed up her own money. She ain't even had to have these problems. They wasn't even trying to take her off the account. They was cool with the next three months. So you just counted yourself out of three whole months of more cash from all of them? That's your stupid ass fault. <laughs> Karma was a business here in this situation. Like, come on, bro. And then later, and then later she takes That's something. That's crazy. Now, kid you not. This late at night, we haven't talked to anybody out the group. We ain't talked to anybody out the group. This was a group message. She goes into our group message. What she said? What she said in our group message? Okay, she goes to our group message. After we ain't telling nobody our business. We ain't telling nobody what's going on. We ain't. We just like. We just want this lady out of our account. She just doing too much right now. She got too much. She got too much control. Yeah. So I feel like. I feel like if you a manager. Mm -hmm. You should have all that access to our account because what you doing in our account? Right. What you doing in our Gmail? You're not checking no Gmails for us. You're not checking no you ain't doing not, nothing. You're not giving us no brand deals. You ain't doing you, nothing. You're not deleting our um our inappropriate videos off our account. We do that by ourselves. So what are you doing on our account? What nothing. You, what you need to have our, all our information for. So then she let them realize that with her stupid self. <laughs> Did she pretty much count herself out? Now, granted, I'm glad that this happened. Because they can they can keep tabs on their money and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this didn't even have to happen. So all of that other scamming stuff and all of that. She didn't do that to this group, obviously. But, nah, she played herself. And this is karma from the first group. This damn show karma from the first group. So that's how we feel. So we like, oh, so she want to try it. She want to, you know, so we locked her out of our account. I mean, she had access, but I guess you don't deserve access since you try to lock us out of our own account. That. So she texted um, in the group message, just quite to game plus friends. So, you know, we got everybody in there. Everybody that we didn't ever, you know, everybody, er everybody, everybody. in the squad, everybody in there. So she said, hey, if anyone hears from Deacon King, can you let them know I'm looking for them so that I can finalize our business the right way? Just saying, no need to hide, be disrespectful, or sneaky. Thanks in advance. And she said, oh, yeah, please, before morning, I'm not trying to pay a higher, t um, I I'm not trying to pay a higher price for my attorney tomorrow. Um, she said, hey, it is what it is. Remember, I help y'all get y'all out of y'all agreement, which is talking about us, talking about the manager thing. I help y'all get out of y'all agreement. Y'all didn't think I was going to protect myself. Have a nice night. Talk tomorrow, I get. That's not even it. That's not even, that's not even the whole thing right there because after that, after that, she texts us, she texts us again. She texts us again. No and the group message was uh, just us. Just us too. So she after nobody her. replies to her and nobody entertained that she was trying to put out business out there in the group message, she texts us. So they didn't even call Corey and Carmen. She put that out there with her stupid self. She played her whole self in this entire situation. But you the one who's supposed to be the adult. 
Janae, Janae, shame on you. You played yourself. <laughs> Together, she said, come on now. This isn't how BR people do stuff, right? And then she said, talking about Baton Rouge. And this ain't how BR people do stuff. Remember, y'all was always real and honest. So why y'all not answering the phone? And she said, why hide and duck and dodge? Like, really? So she basically said, you know, we didn't ask the phone. We like, we're not going to talk to this lady. We don't have to after we, after, after we, after we, listen. After, we fought for our after, account. You wasn't that, trying to call us. You was trying to lock that. us down. My point is exactly like, Anything else, you were supposed to just say, like, okay, well, I got the password. You haven't even sunk us our own password. Yeah. Like, you have she lost control. She lost control. And then anything up there. Now, to think about this, you guys. Think about this. This is a lady. Yeah, she, you know, yeah, she, she was acting like a mother figure at the time. This is a lady that we put all our trust into. This yes. is a lady that we trusted with our account. Yeah, she was playing that role like she was a mother. And yeah, she was playing that role like, oh, I love y'all so much. It's not about the money. I love y'all. And oh, oh, I'm going to fix this over here. Um, Oh, I'm going I'm to be the peacemaker over here. But I just stirred up the mess. And behind, I stir, I stir, she stirred up the mess behind the scenes. But then trying to be the peacemaker to make stuff look good on her part. Yeah, she was the person that, you know, was feeding us stuff, saying that she was this such a good person. And she was for us. And it wasn't about the business. Yeah, it was about the personal. If anything, and, and when she said that, everybody started looking like, what she got going on? Because if King had a problem, King ain't never had no problem with our old manager. So if King was the one who's having a problem with our old manager, because she King was the favorite. King was the one that she always been into. And, and Corey to, thought he was the favorite. About, oh, this, and I have a problem with this, and I have a problem with this. So King was the favorite. So if you treat your favorite like this, everybody wondering, so what's going on? Why, why, why? If King was acting this way, or King upset, what, what did you do to King up to be upset? Because King has never been mad at our old man. She was like this. Or as she portrayed it to make it seem like, oh, King, my favorite. Oh, I she was trying to buddy them up to keep that money coming in, baby. Look. Congratulations, you played yourself. That's the title of this video. You played your whole entire self. Like, first of all, they wasn't even about to lock you out. They just needed their password. So then you get insecure because you know you ain't been doing your job. So now you like, oh shit, they about to lock me out of it. Oh, so y'all being shady? So this is where Eric like, were y'all being shady? Or were y'all moving funny? Like, Eric, your mama playing you too, baby girl. Because she's not doing anything for you. You know what I'm saying? So, they had enough sense to, to play with the account enough to get their own account back. So, you're not communicating with me while you're trying to take it away from me. Like, I'm a child or something. So, now, now I get it back. And now you need me. Oh, what's up? Now you hit the other people up who paying you. Who they ain't even discuss nothing with. So now they like, hold up, hold up, wait, what, what? We just woke up, what you doing? Like, what happened? You played your whole entire self. What do you have to say for yourself, Janae? Like, out of all things that you could have done, this was probably the dumbest, for real. I, I always talk to King, but I'm going to come to King first. Right. So, um... That happened. She tried to lock us out of our account. She uh, still was trying to get into our account, trying to get into our account. So when she failed at getting into our account, that's when she texted in the group message with everybody in it. And she tried to text us and say, oh, that's how BR people do stuff. And also, oh, y'all moving like snakes now. So now I'm, I'm mad. Now, now I'm mad at her and I'm not even talking to her. So I think we went on for like a day. I think we went like two days. 30. Day two, I think it was a whole day and almost a day and a half. Mm -hmm. I hit her up like the next, like the next, um, I I came back or so she ended up sending us this video. She put my mom in a group message, uh, Janae in a group message. Um, she sister. put her his sister in a group message and both of our phones in a group message. So she was saying she made this whole video talking about look like she was finna cry, talking about something. It's not about the personal. I mean, it's not about the business. It's about the personal. I care too much for y'all. I care this for y'all. And then she slayed it up. But I'm still, you know, contact my attorney by Monday if y'all don't do this or y'all don't do that. But, you know, I love y'all. Y'all are better than this and all this type of stuff. No, she's and a manipulator. So our parents are telling us, like, you know, she deserved to know why y'all cutting her off. She deserved to, you know, we feel like, okay, our parents telling us, you know, we should handle this the wrong way and, you know, let her know. And I just, you know, stop 
you know, cut her off completely because we wanted to cut her off. Yeah, so we wanted to just stop talking to her. So I called, I called her when I, and I ain't gonna care, but I don't care what nobody said. Yeah, it was like one of the emotional moments, like of uh, like, uh, that time because me, you know, I haven't talked to her in a day or two. Oh, wait, wait, no, that's not, we forgot the part where um, the day before she um, sent the video, she takes the long passage to explain. What a passage at. So, you know, explain is her favorite, so she gonna go out her way. She's explaining to her favorite, so she tried to go off her way to try to manipulate Splain and say, um, Who is Splain? It's, going to four. it's not about our channel or the money, it's about the relationship we have through. I mean, she, we have, she said, we have been through too much for this level of nonsense. Um, she said, I'm not as close to Neek or as close to Neek mom, so it's hard to communicate with them. But if I offended you or hurt you, I apologize. Clearly, this is a misunderstanding, but there's right. no way to tell that if we don't talk. I love you to pieces, and I want to fix this. She said I will pop up, but she can't get into our, um, you know, our apartment place because, you know, they don't let people up without our permission. So, she said, um, yes, penthouse. please don't let this get worse. And she said, I know this isn't you. So, basically, she was, you know, trying to, you know, manipulate Splain, saying, oh, I don't talk to Neek that much, but I'm telling you. Oh, that, explain. You know, explain is king. Okay. All right. I love you, and I look at you like a son. Um, if I hurt you, I apologize. Trying to manipulate him. So she said all this stuff, feeding all this stuff to Splain. So I'm like, oh, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. So, so the next day, that's when no, she sent us a video. Day, same day. The same, same day, day? Same day. No, no. Same day. We skip. Because same day, now since I'm looking at it, the same day that she, um, that that happened, when I was coming home, when I got home, they had this. She was going to kick her. She still Oh, home. yeah. She, oh, yeah. Oh. So, that, after she sent that message, the same day, same day when after Splain didn't reply to her, she, oh, uh, when Splain got home, we got this to our phone. Or did you, was it, did she do They got to, um. Oh, you wasn't home. I wasn't home yet, but I was on my way. Okay, so, after that, she, uh, pulled up the Google Authenticator thing. And she sent a snapshot saying, um. She said, hey, just want to talk. I'm not trying to make this a bad situation. So she's sending us something that say Nikki King, you know, and I Google. If anybody don't know about that, that's like a two-step verification. So she mm -hmm. had that. We didn't even know about. So she had that under her sleeve. So she two was planning. Two-step verification. So she was just planning. A verification. It it's like. Them accents is a fool. But the two-step verification is how she could have changed everything still. She was doing stuff so fast that she had, she was doing stuff so fast, it seemed like she had planned So, like, and again, like we said, we thought we kicked her out our channel, but we, she still She still up, had she still access to our channel. channel. So I'm like, what the hell going on? How we fix this? How we fix this? So we going through our account again, trying to hurry up and change stuff before she talking about something. She going to author, so she going to override our password. She said this, she said, she sent us a picture of the Google Authenticator thing, which had a number and, you know, it helps you get into the account a different way. She said, this will override your password. I will wait another 24 hours for y'all to cool off just because. So she was trying to make us, she was trying to threaten us and say, oh, I'm going to take y'all account in 24 yeah. hours if y'all don't call me or y'all don't talk to me. So I changed that. So <sighs> Child, they got a part yeah. two. Stay tuned. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Huh? Where the hoes do? Yeah. Nick, you can't rap? <laughs> I already know. Yeah. Niggas hating on me, that's a good joke. Uh. Five, four, three, two, that go to gun smoke. Uh. I do the shit for fun, just like my videos. Yeah. Yo, where the Henny at? Okay, I'm in my zone. Flex on them, no. Get that money, bitch.